ready to enjoy Derby Day here in 2022. So they're going to get a chance to see a little turf racing coming up here momentarily. Uh, as we mentioned the turf, it's not three years old, it's brand new. Donna Brothers has more on this $10 million invested on the new turf course. Exactly. Churchill Downs has installed a brand new turf course, replacing the original turf course that was here in 1985. Part of that is that they've replaced the grass. The grass was made up of a composition of fescue and Kentucky bluegrass, and believe it or not, this new turf course has no bluegrass. But what it does have is a unique composition, ideally suited for the year-round weather conditions here in Kentucky and a state-of-the-art drainage and irrigation system. The other thing that's changed is it's wider. It's now 86 feet wide, and they have four rail possible positions. Right now it's set at the innermost position, but they can come out to 12 feet, they can come out to 24 feet, they can go even all the way out to 36 feet. Track Superintendent Jamie Richardson explains it like this. It's like we had a flip phone and we upgraded to the iPhone 13. In Louisville, Kentucky, all the heavy hitters come in. We're enjoying this the way we want to enjoy it. You know, this life is about curating it the one you, the way you want to curate it. And so it being a local thing makes it sweeter. I'm, I'm thrilled, man. We're having a great day. I'm in a, I'm in a phenomenal mood. That's awesome, man. Now, you just had your new song, Churchill Downs, drop with Drake. Have y'all been shooting the video here? What can I say? I mean, there's something going on. We got some cameras rolling, and it ain't just y'all's cameras. Dude, it's it, to see you out there working. There's a guy, the crowd. There's a guy next to you. Oh, Drizzy is here. <laughs> Drake is in the house. I was just trying to listen. I was trying to listen in to what you guys got going on. This is so exciting! Just, oh my gosh! He just wanted to I just want to hear the conversation. I'm not here to really speak. You heard his name. I'll say that. Dude, this is so so. You guys got your new song, Churchill Downs. I mean, what's it what's it like for you to get to see the hometown kid here and everybody love him so much? Man, we've been talking about it a lot the last couple of days. It just reminds me of like. You know, early moments, the same thing I did for a city that, you know, at the time really needed that um, that that energy lift, that recognition. I was referencing, like, my first OVO Fest, and, like, you know, I was I was blessed enough to have two amazing artists come support uh, me, and, you know, that, that that just drove me. I had to I had to show up, you know. I, I'm, I'm so proud of this guy, and, um, and we're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of folks there hoping that Smile Happy will put smiles on their faces at the end of the Derby. Let's see where Smile Happy is and the rest of the 20 horses in the Derby field. Smile Happy is the five at 15 to one, right in the middle of that pack of horses that are between 12 and 20 to one. It's Epicenter and Taba, the co-favorites at five to one. No movement on there except Modonigal has gone from eight to one to nine to one. Seven of the last 10 horses that crossed the wire first were from the Golden State. They bring speed, stamina, and flashy performances, much like the city they hail from. Santa Anita Derby winner Taba leads the charge along with Messi both trained by Tim Yachtine. Also, long shot and happy jack for two-time Kentucky Derby winner Doug O'Neill. Dr. Dre and Tupac may have said it best. California knows how to party, and you bet they will be if the sun shines brightly on them later this afternoon. We have the hat trick. This one is a sculptural feather detail, which really tied into a dress so well. That, that's this, got height. Right? Another <laughs> vertical architectural win winner. And then speaking of big, I mean, if luck and the size of your hat is related, <laughs> She's in for a really, she make really yes. good day, and I'm going to follow whatever she does. Staple here at Churchill Downs since 1895. Another defining feature of Louisville, the food scene. Chef Marcus Samuelson is with Dylan Dreyer to create a perfect derby dish presented by Monogram. I'm hungry, Dylan. What do we have? Oh, if you were here, Mike, you'd be even more hungry. It smells absolutely delicious. We've got the chef and owner of Red Rooster Harlem. Marcus, it is so nice to have you with us. How are you? Like, we're playing the hat game I know, we're today. playing the hat game, but yes. did you recognize my apron? Oh, the apron is amazing. Your hat yes, game is the, on. The last time we were together, he gave me this apron, so I, I saved it just for this event. Look at that. Okay. Look at squeeze a little bit more lemon on top of that. Look at oh, that. this Look looks that. delicious. Boom. And then I'm just going to oh, finish taste, it. I'm going to taste the succotash. Yes. I've been watching you cook it for the last several minutes. How fun is this event, though, right? It's absolutely... All of, oh my God. All of Louisville is out. People are bringing the best hat game. Mm. And you know what? The horses, it's so much fun. Mm. And Jeff, to be able is, to do it. This is... The food is fun. I mean, it's festive, it's fun, it's bright, it's reminiscent of... Kentucky, we've got the bourbon too. Thank yes. you so much. 150,000 guests expected here at the Story Venue today. They're having a good time. These outfits, though, they were planned a long time ago. 
We have put it to use today. Checklist for the day full of highlights. You've got food. You've got drink. Mint julep is always the drink of the day. Some action at the betting windows. And you have the people watching. And everyone here having a good time here at Churchill Downs. Men, women alike, dressed to the nines. We've got the cigars. We've got the drinks. We've got the fashion. And we have two superstars here. We have Bianca Belair, Raw Women's Champion. We have her husband, Montez Ford, fellow WWE superstar. How are you guys doing? You having fun? Oh, we're having so much fun. This is our first derby. This has always been on our bucket list. So we're just so blessed and happy to be here today. And the thing that is so special about you two is just how well you're coordinated. You guys are famous for coordinating your outfits. So how, how, how did that come about? Who decided that? Well, ever since we first met, it's something that we've always loved doing. We love fashion. We love dressing together. And we feel like we're not two halves. We're two holes. And we come together. And we just complement each other. So we've always been doing this since the very beginning. Beginning. Amazing. What are you doing here? I'm here to place a bet. What does it look like? Wow. So, Jimmy, uh, I love that, uh, that, that suit, buddy. I almost missed you. <laughs> Looking sharp. It is a good-looking suit. So, let's yeah. let's see what you got here. Who oh, yeah. You're going to um, take a bet? Epicenter. 100 bucks on Epicenter. Epicenter. My oldest, Genevieve, did a little research. Thinks that's going to be the winning horse. Drinking time here at the longest bar in Kentucky, the Home Stretch Club. You need a long bar because, frankly, everybody is waiting to get a drink here because the mint juleps are going down easy. And I'm joined by Chris Morris, the master distiller for Woodford Reserve. And you're making a lot of mint juleps, Chris, but this one is the $2,500 one. What makes this commemorative cup so special? Well, every year, Dylan, the $1,000 and $2,500 uh, mint julep program from from Woodford Reserve has a special theme and this year it's about our French connection because the county seat of Woodford County where a distillery is located is called Versailles Kentucky and it's named after the Royal Palace at Versailles France so we've taken some of the flavors from Versailles well, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to turn down a $2,500 drink, but tell me, where do the proceeds go for, for folks who buy this? Every year we donate our proceeds to a worthy cause, and this year it's the retirement farm for thoroughbreds called Old Friends. So the horses are taken care of That's after right. they're done racing. Yes. Is this what I think it is, Rut? Yes. Is this the speakeasy? This is the last thing on our bucket list for the Kentucky Derby. Look at this door. Room 20? Yeah, don't worry. I know a guy. Oh my. What? Pretty amazing. I mean, we're not just going to have any. I think it's just opening it by itself. Well, it's magic. Come on in. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this room. Look at this beautiful speakeasy. Hi, guys. How are we doing? Welcome. Did you know this was here the whole time? Well, yeah. I got friends, Kende, Anna Maria. They just set this up for us. So, um, Man. how about two mint juleps? You're going to live it up. Enjoy the day. Dancing, hat game, full effect, mint juleps as sweet as ever. <laughs> you know, we've been talking about fashion. We've been watching everybody here at the Derby, and there are some looks that are so beautiful, so gorgeous, but it is a horse race after all, so we have to pick a winner, Zanna. Our winner, though, is this oh, fabulous beauty this. in this awesome yellow and pink bright tulle dress. Now, I like it because she's tapping into those trends we talked about earlier. Dopamine dressing, the mood-boosting colors, and also a fabulous hat. I also really like the idea that she's kept the makeup and the hair super simple. So trifecta for me. I love it. You, you even said, I wish I knew her name. I want to give her a shout out. But we don't. Let us know. Oh, you beautiful. Today we celebrate 148 years of Kentucky Derby tradition. The colors, the pageantry, the horses, and of course, the world's finest bourbon, Woodford Reserve. This is the moment when we share our Kentucky. So no matter whether you're in New York, Denver, LA, Versailles, or Versailles, today we are all Kentuckians. So please, please join Woodford Reserve as we raise a glass and toast to the best of Kentucky on Kentucky's best day. Cheers. Trump was here before, back in 1999, a return to Churchill Downs. The way across the track here at Churchill Downs, getting set for the winner to find them in about an hour. When the horses come here to the paddock, there is an identifier whose job is solely this, to look at these numbers right here, the unique numbers of every microchip in every horse, and when they match those numbers up by scanning the left side of their neck. Now it's time for the jockeys to identify their correct horse. First, they exit the jocks for Room right here and head down to the paddock and then they're out amongst the fans here the patrons close enough to give a high five or two if they want to do that or three
Oh boy, we got to stop at some point. Thank you very much indeed. Will you join me here outside the Pagoda when in about 50 minutes time one of the most popular traditions at the Kentucky Derby will take place. That is the call to post. It is the signal for everybody to take their seats, stop betting, get your place for the race. Emerge from the tunnel and make their way to the racetrack and face this crowd. By the time they get to me down here at the mile and a quarter start, you've got 100,000 people right on top of them. These are high metals intensely trained to the minute thoroughbreds with this that side 80,000 people on the inside and then you've got 10 tons of horse flesh concertinaed into this gate of 20 just one structure that's being put in place by the starting team now one false move and the race is over they have to be focused they have to be sharp they have to be calm in the most difficult of environment with the Kentucky Derby winning trainer from last year Brad Cox with three horses in this field we're keeping an eye on Cyberknife right now you've described him as a handful before what have you seen so far very good so far he's handled everything he's handled the drones flying overhead the loud crowd it's been everything right all right thanks brad Thank donna and i'm with tammy bobo who is one of the owners of simplification tammy your family got a start in the business as grooms and hot walkers as did you and now you're walking over here this hallowed walk towards the twin spires with a horse that you own can you talk about what this means to you it's an unbelievable experience one that everyone needs to experience this is amazing. Your daughter, Brittany, behind you, Brielle, your granddaughter with you also. Trying to keep Brielle up in, up in here. She managed this trick the whole way with us. Tammy, typically you buy or breed horses to sell, but Simplification is a horse that you kept. What is your favorite thing about him? His eye. He has such, he has such an amazing eye. Jose Ortiz, Simplification. Ray Gutierrez, Barbara Road. Tyler Gaffleon. Wide Barrio. Florent Giroux, Saddle Knife. Julien Le Parou, Classic Causeway. Ladies and gentlemen, the city of Louisville, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, and sports friends all around the world, please let me prepare you. Riders up. Please rise as the University of Louisville Marching Band and Cardinal Singers perform My Old Kentucky Home. trainer Rick Dawson the winning owner here and Eric's dad Herbie what a proud moment for him Eric thrust into the big time against all odds you only got into the race earlier in the week just try just try and put this into words I don't know how I fell down the paddock when he hit the wire I, I about passed out I'm so happy and explain that. this is something that you know is the reason everybody does this because we're not supposed to be here but I knew this horse loved the track and he'd been training so good all year 
and thanks to Rick for getting me here. But and Sonny Leon, they know who he is now. They do, the winning rider, Sonny Leon. Herbie, your son is a Kentucky Derby winning trainer. How does that feel for you? Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's unreal. When you, when you drew into this race, Rick, at the last moment, did you think we're just here for a great day, or did you genuinely believe that you could, you could do something? Oh, never, ever, ever would Eric and I put a horse in a race we didn't think we could win. I promise you. We talked about this a year and a half ago. We talked about never putting a horse in that wasn't ready, wasn't fit. And we just knew that we had a shot because every time he went longer, he got better. And today we go to mile and a quarter, and he just kept going. Tell me about this man here, Eric, and the journey you've been on together. He's the reason I'm in this business right now. There's a lot of story back behind that, but I was ready to get out of the industry. I wasn't just disenchanted with the whole thing. You want to tell us that story? We've got the time. Uh, well, I won't, but I met Eric through a close friend of mine. I've known for 35 years. I met here in Kentucky. He introduced us, and I Pete thought, Chiro. you know what, Pete Chiro. And I said, you know what, I like this guy. I'm going to give him another shot, and it's been nothing but a great ride since. Uh, he always tells me exactly what's going on. Sometimes good news... Sometimes the truth isn't good news, but it's always the truth, and I can deal with the truth, and this is the most unbelievable day ever. Still trying to get uh, this horse under control here. Rich Strike has stunned the racing world. So you have 20 horses that qualify for the Derby on points. The field is only 20 here. He was the first alternate, still trying to bite the pony here as uh, they try to get him under control.